Wow, look at the handsome little boy. How much does he weigh? 1.7 kilos. Okay, let's just put him to sleep. <laughs> Creature like this doesn't even need to be on this planet. There's no point. Wow, handsome boy. Handsome boy. He's just so concerned about Minnie. He's like, why isn't she here? Where's Minnie? Minnie, you look so suspicious. Let's see. Let's see what's going on in this little mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> it's gross, eh? Yeah. How old is he? Four? Forty. Forty. In human years. So when are we doing his team? How much does it cost? How much does it cost? I don't know. Did I make an estimate? Okay, let's put him to sleep. Stop! I'm joking, he's so cute! <laughs> Look at you, buddy. It's mostly because of Minnie. He's like so concerned. Yeah. That's all he cares about in life, is uh, Minnie. Ooh, it's your girlfriend, eh? Does he your girlfriend? Wow, you did it! You did it! So proud of you. So proud of you. Do you even understand? Oh my god. He's honestly, his breath stinks. He's a nightmare. And he cries all the time. I'll give him to you for a hundred bucks. You got a hundred bucks? I'll give him to you right now for a hundred bucks. No deal. Yeah, we're at an Italian restaurant for my, uh, my grandfather's birthday. And we didn't even rent the place or anything, but we, my mom made everyone shut it down over there. So that we could all sit down. Yeah, you guys can both sit here. Look, I got two sides. Two sides. Here, we're over. So my mom made them shut it down so that we could go and like take a picture there. We've literally cleared out the entire restaurant for no reason. It's not even like we we rented the place or anything. And that's my nephew. And I don't know who that man is chasing him, so that's worrisome. Ford! Ford! We're pulling up to the gym right now. I'm do uh, I'm do a big cardio session. I'm sweat a whole bunch. My back hurts right now. I woke up, my back hurts, and I was like, oh, I shouldn't go. My back hurts. I have a lot of streaming to do, and we are a little behind schedule. So I'm like, oh, I'm also late. But at the end of the day, I was like sitting there. And I'm like, I gotta literally just do it. I said I'd go back. I go back. I don't want to do this right now. But that's what makes me. That's what makes me want to do it. You know, I'm stubborn like that. It's like, don't fucking tell me what to do. Right now, Harley's like, bro, I don't want to go to the gym. Don't go to the gym. I'm like, don't tell me what to do. We're going to the gym. You know, like, even I can't tell me what to do. So that's what we're going to go do right now. And hopefully this is inspiring for you, you know? If you're thinking like, yo, what should I do in life? I don't know, whatever, man. Just Maybe just don't jerk off for 30 days. How about that? Maybe don't have sex for 30 days. How about that, right? Write that book, man. Still haven't wrote that book, eh? Said you're going to write a book. Why don't you write that book? And for those that don't know, writing a book, writing the book isn't really literally writing the book. That could be whatever writing your book is in life. You know, writing a script, going to the gym, talking to that girl you haven't spoke to, applying for that job you haven't applied for, ordering a fucking squatty potty that you've been thinking about, whatever it may be, start writing your book. And that's just my figure of speech. Writing your book could be anything. Just stop putting it off, bro. Get it. My stupid ass going to the gym right now with a sore back. A headache. I was a good boy last night. Oh, sleep is part of it. I went to bed very, very early last night. So this is all part of the movement, guys. We're doing it, doing it, and doing it, and doing it. So hopefully that was inspiring. Or maybe you just got discouraged. You're like, shut the fuck up, Harley. Well, then you prove Harley wrong and you go do it anyways, man. All right. Cool. Oh, we're almost there. Oh no, we're there. I uh, just got my workout in at uh, Planet Fitness at uh, Gerard Square right now. Gerard Square actually the best mall in all of Canada. You should. I'm just kidding. It's not. It's the opposite of that. But I'm not gonna hate on it. I'm here all the time. They got a Walmart inside. So come on, fucking holding it down, right? Well, we gotta check out the EB Games Lynch. Gotta pop in there just for a minute. You know, see what's good. Water. Once I drink water, literally uh, like a liter every two hours or so, I don't snack. I stop eating bullshit. I stop fucking up. Water's like ground zero for me. Once I get the water proper, everything else. The hardest thing for me to really get is sleep. And sleep is really important. I always downplay. I was like, sleep? What? 
Sleep is for gay men that want to dream about drinking penises or something. <laughs> That's stupid. But no, I literally, I'm always like, I thrive and flourish at night. But then meanwhile, it's like 3 a.m. and I'm barely not even editing something. The game is get sleep because then you can do better. So that's it. Um, I'll go all this right here. Vega. Vega protein shakes. Never tried them. Never tried them before, but I picked it up because uh, I like Vega. And, uh, you know, they always got like plant based shit and it's all natural and so whatever. So we'll see. You know, I got a couple shakes. Not a big deal. We'll see how they go. I have Vega protein powder. Yeah, I have that too. Mm. This is a fuck up, so we're not going to talk about it. For my stream, we're not even going to talk about that. Don't worry about those. That's a fuck up. And uh, my aunt. My aunt has like an eight pack and she runs like four kilometers a day and she uh, drinks grass. She's really fucked up. She said these are the best protein bars in the game. So they were on sale four for ten bucks. So that's what I did. That's what I did here. Got a blueberry, a peanut butter, chocolate chip. We'll see how they go. But it's a brand new day, baby. Brand new day. And this is um, a boring ass dinner. But you know what? It's not even that boring. Pretty hyped about it. That's good dinner. Terrible cook on those. Tell it, Amir made that obviously. Yep, this is the Amir special. Yep. Not for flavor, only for just like efficiency. Sustenance. Yeah, toss it in. Sustenance. Comes out is what you're dealing with the next week. Yeah, sustenance. As opposed to meat. Amir brings like literally a slice of Kraft cheese to McDonald's and gets the McDouble, which is two beef patties, one slice of cheese. Instead of the Mc, uh, the double cheese, which is two burgers, two cheese, he gets the McDouble because it's like 50 cents less. And so he'll bring his own slice of processed cheese there, which is weird because then you're putting your own cheese on a McDonald's burger and that's weird. Never do that. Never put your own shit on a McDonald's burger and also never open up McDonald's burger and look inside of it. Don't have some. Because it's a gray. It's not supposed to be like that. And uh, that right there is a little bitch dog. Yo, dum dum, say what's up to the vlog. Hey, yo. Oh, he mad scared. What'd you guys think? Wait for round two, then I'll let you know. Round two of what? Hold that again. That's not coming back again. Do it again, Alright, you wanna let me 600 bucks? Bring it back one more time. Pretty good. Pretty good, eh? Eight pieces of lobster, $140. Yeah. Can't complain. Well, what else would you have got for $140? Way more than $140. Yeah. 